Hey, hey, it's me again. Um, I have another video to show you with uh, another video. I have another um, project to show you. Um, I used this paper line here called Flea Market from Colorbox. And um, I really like this paper. Um, I got the specialty papers also, but um, it's scalloped at the bottom and it's 12 by 12. But uh, there's two sheets of each design, and I, I used one of each already. But I mean, I hadn't seen this before, so I picked this up at uh, Joann's, and I just really love the um, the papers. Really, really um, shabby chic and cute. So. And then I got a bunch of the die cuts also, so I'm sure to be organized and keep them all together. So that's the paper line I used for this uh, this mini slash journal slash book smash book slash book. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I have a charm here on the side and um, some really pretty pretty pink beads and have a little owl and a chandelier piece and a butterfly so that's all just um, dangling off the side here and this is uh, some more of that um, wedding um, the wedding uh, lace that I cut off the the wedding dress I bought at the uh, secondhand store and I just um, I left it just that simple um, and then I have some uh, crackle paint here in the corners and some, uh, some uh, you know, glitter on top, not glitter, um, you know, shimmery stuff on top. And then um, I just left it like that because um, I didn't really know what else to add to it. And I just uh, kind of like the look of it. And then the charm kind of just uh, adds to it. So um, that's the cover. And then the um, inside page, I have some of that pretty uh, wedding dress lace and um, some more of the die cut from the paper and a double-sided photo mat. And then again, I uh, did the stitching around the uh, outside using my brand new um, sewing machine. And uh, so then here's some of the paper. And what I did was... I folded it in half with the scallops down at the bottom and then um, just made that the page. So they're actually open at the top, but I didn't put any tags or anything in it. I just thought, um, you know, I don't know, I might put tags in it, but I might just leave it that way, you know, just open for, you know, keepsakes or more pictures or what have you. So, um, Double-sided photo mat slides right in there, and then I have some buttons and some of the number wood pieces, and then stitched around that, and then the the pocket wraps around. So this is the other side, and there's another pocket, and I just have um, just left it alone, and then put some trim and a little spot for journaling and a flower, um, and then I have acetate here with one of the um, journaling cards, and it says what I like about you. And then on this side, there's just the other half of the journaling spot. Here's a double-sided photo mat, uh, um, a double photo mat page. And then um, more of the stitching. And I really like this paper, so I didn't um, go overboard with embellishing it. And um, so there you go. And there's a spot for some journaling. And see, pages are completely open. And I mean, I can close those up. But, you know, I thought I'd just leave them open for, you know, being creative and figuring something out to do with it. And then um, another photo mat using the specialty paper, which has glitter on the roses, and some lace and another spot to journal. And then here I have um, a little pocket page, and then there's just a tag inside. And I um, embossed it with the Tim Holtz uh embossing folder and then some buttons right here which I, I've been trying to use my buttons more often because a lot of times I just forget about them all together so um, and then I have another uh, embossed side here with uh, I don't know what those are called and then um, this is that you know sanitaire embossed paper here I got another photo mat 
some wide uh, crochet lace and some trim and some uh, flowers. And then um, some more of the wide crocheted lace with the die cut and the flower. And then um, these just flip up like that. I tried to do one of the little funky settings on the, you know, um, sewing machine and I'm very new at sewing so to take it easy. <laughs> uh, here I have a tag that I cut out for, of uh, uh, canvas and then I just uh, sewed and added a piece of lace on the side and used some uh, die cuts and just kind of decorated around it and um, so there's that page. And then here I just have one of the the uh, die cuts from the paper, you know, that I showed you in the beginning of the video, and um, I just that's all I did to that page. And here I have a Prima journaling spot on a tag, and that's just a stamp. And then there's another tag, and there's a stamp at the top. And then I added a uh, little spot for journaling. It says favorite things, and it's numbered. And then here's a flower, a rose I made using the paper. The, I showed this in an earlier video, but in case you didn't see it, I'll show you this again. Um, I bought this from Joann's and like 70% off and used these flowers to make these roses. And so I picked up several of these bunches here, which I thought was a great deal to make um, my own roses there. And they're super, super easy. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on it. And then I got this really pretty, uh, this, uh, fiber here, which I just love. Look at that. So cool. So, um, I just wrapped that around, did a flower, another journaling spot, another photo mat, spot for journaling, and, um, cute little flourish at the bottom with the birds. And then, um, another photo mat, and then there's a tag back there another one of the die cuts and then um, a die cut bird and a, a gardenia small gardenia and um, this is a little sizzlet that I picked up and it's got a bunch of the it's like a branch with a bunch of leaves on it which I really like because adds you know a lot of fullness to um, you know behind flowers and stuff and then uh, here's just another gardenia larger one and a spot for you know, journaling, and then a um, a key, and then a doily that I distressed, and then a piece of lace with another uh, die cut, and then can slide something under there. And then this is the um, glassine paper that I just added some, you know, die cut and a room for a picture. And I left this side um, blank, and then there's the other half of the journaling spot. And then um, this is the last page, and it's got uh, the uh, pocket as well as the first page. And then here's the back with the wraparound pocket. And then there's the journaling spot on the back. And there's the back cover. So um, this is a, I don't know, it's, it's not fully a mini album, and it's not really fully a smash book. So to me, it's kind of in the middle. And... Um, I don't know, I just put it together and, you know, I kind of liked it. So, that's what I made with that. And then, I have just a couple cards to show you. Um, this is using the Prima, um, the Prima uh, paper, the new one. I can't remember the name of it, but um, there's that. And then, this one says, Life's a Picnic. And this one here, I really like how that turned out. So, uh, anyways, guys, hope you like that. I got, you know, another video coming up. And sorry if I'm squeezing everything in one day, but you know how it goes. All right, see you soon. Bye.